Welcome back. Uh, today, let's just take a look at some players playing games against, well, first of all, Hastybot, uh, Woogles.io's resident AI. It's always cool to see these matches in progress. And there's almost always somebody playing it. Um, uh, you might say, I don't know some of these words, like, I. Some of these things. Uh, can click on the word it'll define the word for you uh, uh -huh. it being the website so here we have uneath um with difficulty or hardly huh uneth quant refers to to propel with a pole def huh <laughs> interesting yeah so some words must enter this is from the international 2019 dictionary some words must have entered from the australian lexicon that's where we get really cool abbreviations like def um what's moa refer to an extinct flightless bird oh And then we have some Old English. Well, SH is not Old English, but there's a whole bunch of Old English words. Like, I guess uneath probably comes from Old English, or uneth, without ease. So, yeah, uh, here we have uh, playing. I don't know if the top player plays first all the time. Yeah, okay, so first player is Hastybot, and right. their opponent is Wordbound. Um, I've got space to throw something additional into my overlay, but I'm not sure if it would look good. I would like to see this bottom right component rearranged, so the player name, etc. was taking up this left half, and then you could see the other player take up the right half. But that's just not how it's laid out. Um, alternatively, I wonder if I could fit my chat somewhere else. Uh, it's just confuse everything by moving around the chat. So option three would be to reduce the width of the chat window so you could see both players' names. What happens if I conceal the chat window? Yeah, you can barely make out the player's name, and you can't see their avatar, so that's not a long-term solution. Are there other ideas? I'm not sure. Wait, what's up with... oh. Uh, I don't think I'm trimming the chat window. Filters. Oh, I'm trimming the chat window, but I'm cutting out the right scroll bar. All right. I think that's as good as that's going to get. So yeah, the chat does not take up the entire bottom row of the screen. If anybody knows, just the... I'm using Chatty, but it's not the way I would like it to appear. If anybody knows some sort of chat plugin that's like not night devs plugin something that just interacts directly with twitch and is open source and all it does is just display the chat in my choice of font if we can find something like that i'd be gladly using it also i'm spectating this game however this game does 20 minutes per player and uh, there's only 25 tiles remaining, so Wordbound is going to take their time in the last few plays of this game, especially because they don't have an easy play here. I mean, down here I see like Jinx, J I N X. Can I actually type in here? Yeah, so this would be one way to burn some letters 34 points. Um, 
Not sure if there's anything better than... Oh, that's interesting. So, ordinarily, I have this website organize or arrange the letters by point value first. After this game, we'll look into my settings and see if I can fix... Ah, why wait? I'll open up a second window and see if I can fix that. So... Uh, I got a full screen the second window, apparently, to be able to access the settings menu. Preferences, tile style, default, default tile order, descending points. There we go. And then I go back here and refresh the page. There we go. Descending point value order. This helps you sound out, like most English words have a very, I don't know, very well pronounced sound at the beginning of the word. And therefore, if you want to be able to quickly find a word, you want to find, you want to know which letter the word begins with. Well, if the word features a letter at the uh, say you're looking for a three, four, five, six, or seven letter word, and you know that the letter you want to use is going to occupy the first half of the word. Well, then you want to have that tile that you want to use show up on the left side of your rack. I'm not sure if that's making sense or not. Probably not. Okay, I wonder, can I color this hand, this hand icon that appears when I mouse over? Because, like, I have the Windows cursor here, and when I go over a tile, I get a hand icon. Either that or I maybe want to just do away with the hand altogether, but I don't think I want that. I just want the hand to be the same color as my Windows cursor. Well, that'll be fun. Um... Yeah, I guess there's some way to set, like, a CSS color filter on the cursor. Hmm. I don't know. Never done that before. Uh, another thing... Huh. Well, this game's... Yeah, what would you play here? I sure don't know. It'd be nice to be able to use the D column. Uh, if you could play a high scoring tile up here and hit the double word score, you have a double letter score and then a double word score, and you get both of them. Uh, there's a constant next to this triple. There's a constant next to this triple letter score. Constant there. So these are not key places, probably, unless you have something that goes before an R, but I don't think we do here. Um, this is kind of difficult to access, given its distance from other tiles. Uh, likewise, this is, you have to have a word starting with R-E, or something R-E to hit this, because Ebonists, uh, does not expand leftward into there. So that's why I started with this spot, because it, it's a blue square. It's a triple letter square. Sterving. Well, Hasty Bot takes the spot. Uh, the player attempted to take it, and they got a double letter score that they scored twice because they got two words. But it looks like Hasty Bot's going to win this one. I think what my science is telling me here is that um, while this morning's experiment between Lee Chess and the team I just joined results in a great viewership, um, playing on this site, this woogles.io, which does not automatically give me viewers, well, uh, being a member of the team doesn't really propel my viewership 
in cases where I'm not in like the top 10 most viewed channels on that team. So I think there's going to be some limited duration of time in which I'll be able to, um, I don't know, be featured both on Lee Chess or Lee Shogi, as well as the top so many on the team. I think this uh, is a way I could harvest viewers for a little bit. Harvest is kind of the wrong word, but I guess attract is the right word to use. But basically, um, because on Lee Chess and Lee Shogi, the front page of those sites is willing to put up my username and stream, I can fairly easily get 5 to 10 viewers if I want it. And then if I've got 5 to 10, that puts me somewhere in the ballpark of being the top 10 streamers on this new team. So, yeah. Not sure how far I'm going to run with that, because I don't want to play chess all day. And because it's difficult for me to get featured on the front page of Lee Chess when you've got like five grandmasters all streaming on that site. Um, likewise, Lee Shogi, although it's very exciting to play there, I want to stream at hours where folks from Europe and Japan are able to watch. So that means not the middle of the day. And you know what, if uh, for whatever reason I'm not able to, like, if my participation in this new team doesn't automatically give me viewers, I uh, could always go back to the old deal I had where, um, you know, I just play whatever game I want. Um, it was fun for quite a while. just thought, like, maybe I'd give this one shot for maybe some number of weeks. We'll see. Um, but yeah, this morning, as I was playing on Lee Chess, Lee Chess itself gave me about 10 viewers, and then I have about, I don't know, 5 to 10 new followers. All because of that. Um, because if you were to look at the new team I joined, what is it called again? What is the name of my own team? Amazingly, Twitch does not show me this. Amazingly, the stream settings page does not show me this. I have to, like, look at my own channel on Twitch. Um, but, yeah, whatever the name of the team was, um, they had many members and they had some copyright concern. And so they renamed the team. They're rebranding it all. They're inviting new streamers to join the team. And therefore, it's not too hard to get in the top 10 most viewed folks uh, on that chat or team. Yeah, okay, well that was slow. Be more exciting than that would be if I just played the computer. So let's give that a shot. Oh, wait, can I open all dictionaries, please? Settings, preferences, enable all lexicons. Boop. All right, uh, let's see. Tile style. We've got all these styles to choose from. Teal? Uh, I kind of like that. I'm sure some people would hate that. Um, metallic? Blue? Blue looks kind of nice, not gonna lie. Fuchsia looks better on some other people's streams than on my own. Teal? I like the blue better. Brick, forest. Do you suppose there's... Oh wait, there's balsa. That... Okay, yeah, that is balsa. Other wood styles would be nice. Mahogany is okay. Charcoal, eh, whatever. White, I don't know. Yeah, let's try blue for good luck. Blue's a delightful color. Um, secret features. Ooh... Yeah, so um, I've enabled the blindfold stuff, but let's disable that for now. Yeah, let's play with the computer using the English 
common word list. 20 minutes. Um, yeah, and with an overtime, let's say five overtime periods. This will be fun. Good luck. Although you're a bot, so why am I saying good luck? But anyway, um, that's what we say. All right, Vic Geals. That's a word, right? <laughs> Vic Geals. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, this is not the greatest start in the history of the game. Um, so I want to play the C, and if possible, I want to play the B, because these are the two highest scoring tiles. But I have a duplicated E as well, so I want to play that. It doesn't leave me a lot of options. Oh, we got Cable. Cable fits right there. Do we have any... Uh... Oh, I'm playing Void Challenge, which means I can attempt words as much as I want until I get something that's actually a valid word. I'll try not to abuse that too much. Um, time's ticking. Yeah, Cable burns... Well, I like to keep the L, but I can't... Beggars can't be choosers here. 18 points is not terrible. Alright, hike. So, I wish we had, like, cyst or something. Um, I guess it need to end in an X. Um, hmm. Something like this? I don't know. Yeah, that would have been too easy. Um, wait, can I withdraw my play? All right. I don't know if there's a way to quickly pick up the phony play. Uh, we want to play the X somewhere. Here's a spot I could drop it. So I could just play EX or MEX. Um, I think that's valid. Oh, it's no more valid here without the S than with it. Okay. Um, the other day we missed Wex, W-E-X. Uh, hmm. So... What shall we play? Oh, just EX. Right. That burns my only... I want to use two consonants if I can. Alright. Um, I have no way to use two consonants, so I'm just not in a great place right now. And to add insult to injury, um, now the X drops here for more points, but there's no word that goes there. So I want to build a word that hits the Z and this triple. Um, too bad bong doesn't fit here. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just don't know words that could fit there. Um, there's no eight to hit the A. I may have one vowel, and it's not a very good vowel. Um, oh, moth bits here, except I have no H. I saw an H somewhere on the board and assumed it was in my rack. Most fits here. I wonder if boast fit here. It doesn't matter because, uh, yeah, B and O. Oh, e M is not a word in the common lexicon. All right, now this scrolled me. Uh, all right, we reset the page size to unscroll. Um, I forgot we were playing with the common dictionary. How about Tong? 
There we go. 17 whole points. Oh, et. Oh my goodness, both of these are not words. All right, et is still not a word in this book. The past tense of the word eat, not in this dictionary. All right. Well, that's kind of exciting. Forgot which dictionary I was playing with. Um, wow. Yeah, this dictionary does not have a lot of words that I'm accustomed to using. I forgot about that. All right, so... Eventually that will cut in my favor, but probably not for a long time. All right, so mango, eight points. Wait, 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 we could spell wheezes here for way more than eight. Okay, yeah, that's the one to play. Now we are scoring some points. And then we could spell like boy. Um, yeah, that's awesome. 29. We are only down by 100 points. Um, so what shall we play now? Given? Vague? There's... It's kind of hard to find a spot to place a word here. Binge? Uh, that uses up my ing suffix. I need an ing suffix if I want to win this game. So let's stick ing over there, and we want to play avee -E somewhere. Um, vee -E itself is a word. Uh, could probably put here. Uh, <laughs> so. Yeah, veer is also a word, um, which would score points with hiker. So we're going to keep VEE, -E, hoping that we get an R. How many R's? Four, five times the letter R appear in the bag. All right, so we have A-I-N-G. Uh, Bing is okay. I don't like it. Um, Jin is fine. 20 points. Ominous. Yeah, that is ominous. So we're keeping EVE. -E. Acai. Uh, is a word, but probably not in this book. Despite being a food. Um. Oh, how about the cease? Cease. There we go. We've burned up the letters we need for the corner, but this is a solid 26, so... God damn it. <laughs> Rationed. All right, well, we are not winning this game. Uh, I had to take some chances, but... Um, yeah, it's impossible to close every lane. Um... What do we do now? Dairy? I don't know. Ch uh, C, sir, is not accepted. I had to try it. Um. Gravy is only 13 points. We need more than 13 to make any effort to win this. Um, we don't have the letter E because I burned up both of my letter E's. So, yeah. I am toast. Oh, we could spell gravy down here. There we go. Gluteus for not a whole lot of points. All right, we have the letter Q, which is going to be impossible to play on this board. 
Um, wait, how many times? There's one blank in the bag. So we could either pin all our hopes on drawing that blank, or we could exchange the queue. But let's not exchange it just yet. Actually, no, we're down a lot of points. If we can't play the queue immediately, we need to exchange it. Is this in this book? It's not in the common words book. All right, we're going to exchange the queue. So four, five. All right, we're going to exchange one of that, exchange the A. Uh, there's a lot of I's in the bag, so let's exchange the I. Uh, do we want to keep the P? There's another P in the bag, so let's exchange that. All right, this hopefully should feel better. Um, now we show off my awesome word knowledge, right? Of common words <laughs> that have two eyes. Uh, yeah, that's not, there's really nothing here. Iron like. There an open K. Maybe Iron Like could perhaps be played, but it's not going to be in this book. Um, I don't suppose Oni, something like Ion. Yeah, Oi itself is not in this book either. Um, hmm. Oilier. It's a word. All right, we are still down by 161 points, and we have the queue again. This is our final attempt, uh, our final time that we're able to exchange the queue because QI is not in this book, right? Oh, QI is in the book. Free 21 points for me. Now there's seven in the bag. Um, I did think about trying to play something longer than QI, but there's just nothing. Um, so, WA is probably not a word. Yeah, I didn't think so. Um, how about pregada? You think pregada is a word? It'd be 33 points if. Okay, we had to try it. Um, yeah, there's not a whole lot of places that I can easily find a, a word here. Um, I mean, pay, P-A-Y, if it's there, but I want to find something better. Um, I don't think AP is accepted. 14? Yeah, neither AP nor AR. I'm just guessing words at this point, because I don't know what's in the common English words dictionary. It really depends on your definition of common. Um, but yeah, looking across the board, there's... I mean, Rex could perhaps be in here. Um, but I don't have a crossplay, but maybe that's okay. Yeah, Rex, not a common English word. Again, it's all subjective. Just play the word pay. Oh, right, there's tiles in the bag, so I still have seven on my rack. Uh, but, like, I don't know if we have Anteater or something. Probably, yeah, we're nowhere close. So we can draw two from the bag and try to get some awesome word. But it's... Oh, there is an S and a blank unseen. So if I play A-N, or A-A, -A, there's some chance that's not zero that I might get something that doesn't suck. Um, but yeah, all the cool words that are in other dictionaries aren't in this one. 
So to play AA, does it fit here, perhaps? Oh, AA and EA are both not accepted. All right, that's fine. I should have known that after all those other attempts, but I'm not learning. Um, so, I mean, we could play AN and really hope for the best. There is an A and an N in the bag, so each A dramatically reduces the chance of a seven-letter word, so I prefer to play two A's exactly, but it seems very unlikely that I have anywhere to do that. Uh, like, Allah, A-L-A, -A, might be the only way to do that. Oh, well, here's a chance to try that. It's not in this book. Um, yeah, so AN is probably the best I'm going to get. And surprise, our opponent had the S and the blank. So all that. Hoping that we would get both the blank and the S and maybe make some drastic comeback is not to be. Um, that's nine points, and our opponent wins by 200. Congratulations. Let's try it again. All right. So this feels like a good play. Daisy. <laughs> yeah, apparently I know the flower is D-A-A-I-S-Y, but I assumed that there was something. I mean, there's A-D-Z. Uh, which is not in this book. All right. So what is in the book? What's in the good book? <sighs> Perhaps Z-A. Also not in the book. Um, and All right. Just like none of these things that I want to... A-D-D potentially is I mean that's the word add okay d-a-y I have lots of consonants this is not oh yard is better um put the y up one more just to open the board actually let's score more points like this that didn't matter our opponent's gonna crush us um Let's check the overlay. Okay, yeah, the overlay looks fine. If I were to zoom out and zoom back in, um, yeah, that restores the space above the board. Somehow, when various prompts show up here, the page ends up scrolling. And I have something in place to prevent the page from scrolling, but it scrolls anyway. All right, we have no vowels. Um, which means we got to play creatively. Oh, I thought I had an N for a zing. I mean, it's perhaps the best we can do, but I don't suppose whiz is in here. Yep, so the page scrolled again. You know, we're just going to leave the page in this orientation. Unless it makes it more difficult to use. Um. All right. So, is biz in here? Biz? Lanyards! Of course there's lanyards. Alright. But of course. How could I have missed lanyards? Mm-hmm. Very cheeky hasty bot taking an early... How much is this lead? 81 points. Mm-hmm. I see how it is. All right, so we don't have an N for clawing. Uh, we do have caw, well, we've got caw, but not cawing. Again, we're missing the N. See, yeah, IB is not a word for cawing here, and GZ certainly not a word. Um, I think ZA is rejected earlier, um, but yeah. I don't know. 
Yeah, za is rejected. Fa is a word, but it would require me to have z a something. I don't think there are any. Oh, z a g is a word, but o g is not in here. It's not a common word. Um. I mean, claw is not terrible. It just doesn't score anything. It gives me some chance of being able to claw my way out of this later. But yeah, I just don't have very good options available at present. Alright, we've drawn both U's, which serves us no good here. Um, yeah, maybe it... I wonder at what point it makes sense to exchange. Like here, since I'm with a dictionary the, for which there are no ways to dump a whole bunch of letters. Uh, yeah, this is a good opportunity to exchange everything I don't like about this. Uh, how many T's? There's a lot of T's. Yeah, I'll just exchange all. I feel lucky. Page scrolled down again. Thanks for nothing. Um, Savage is nice. Uh, the good news, like, uh, when we finally do... Eventually the, the bot will get bad draws, too. And we'll be able to exploit the bot's bad draws. And that will uh, improve my rating. So I'm not too concerned. Uh, Veil is kind of nice here. Um... Yeah, we would have the word vertical if there were an open L in column one. But, um, yeah, we want to play like VAC or something. And I don't see a way to play that anywhere other than Veil here. And I think this is a decent leave, so let's try it. Are you kidding me? All right. That's not in here. Um, what else could we try? What can we try? I really thought that was going to work. We, if there's somewhere to put cave, we could play cave somewhere. Pretty sure cave or even crave is a common word. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Our opponent scores the X masterfully. As if they drew it on purpose. <laughs> uh, Alright, so... What shall we do now? We still want to play an I and an R, and preferably the J, but... Um, yeah, what would that mean here? I mean, jibe? Jiber? Let's play jibe. It's fine. We have a duplicated R, duplicated T. Um, probably is not a 7 or an 8 with those letters. I'm tempted to spell out turd here, just for laughs but let's try to win this game triad okay we could spell triad te is not in this book um right triad is in the book but te the musical tone is not in the book i try to know my music terms um There's nowhere, apparently, to stick a triad. Um, dirt. Then, or dart. I kind of like dart better. AG, agriculture, is not in this book. Okay, um, yeah, I didn't think, oh, tax would be in the book, T 
text would definitely be in the book. Um, ta. Wow. Okay. Uh, maybe I'm just completely mistaken on ta. That's kind of funny. Or I'm thinking of tea, but I don't want to burn my eye. Well, there's only... Yeah, keeping the A is not so bad, because I'm unlikely to be struck by another A. Um... So ED is the suffix, but trar, trura is not a word. So... Um, guard is a word, uh, leaving us with ERT and a very high probability of drawing another E. Um, so we want to play an E, we want to play the U and an R. Uh, Rude for 11's, not terrible. Reunite is a whole lot better than Rude, but Rude itself was not bad. Alright, ED is the suffix. So, F-A-I-R-T, trafed. I don't know. I don't suppose that I'm actually going to find a seven-letter word the same way that Hastybot does. Um, I farted. <laughs> I farted it's here. Mm, I might just have to stick with farted. Um... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we could spell ref and farted. Um. Yeah, Finn here. Finn and a chance to draw something awesome. But also an extremely high chance that our opponent just takes the spot. So... Rifted. Yeah, that could work. ED is a suffix. But I didn't see that, so we're just going to stick with farted. Um, or rafted. Not sure that it matters which I pick. I think this is better, because the um, opponent is less likely to score a whole bunch of points there. All right, now we're talking. Got pigeons. Not really, but um, almost have a glimpse. Maybe we do have it. Glimpsin. All right, I guess we're stuck playing glimpse. Only 39 points. Plingums, I don't know. Um... Uh, I'm looking at this and seeing I'm down by 190. So, really discouraged at this point. Um, if I had a better. Oh, ING. S I N G. But the first half of this, P M G. I'm sorry, P M. M L P. Melpings. That can't possibly be a word. It's like helping, but with an M. Yeah. See, there were two H's in the bag, and yet we got the P. Well, I need to play to try to get the H. So if I just stick this here for like 11, I don't know if there's a better, higher scoring place to stick that, but... Oh, another idea! 
Because I could open a second lane down here with rep. And that way my S can score. Um, yeah, let's try that. We failed to draw the H. Um, and we played the P. So now we have a T instead. I-N-G-S. Miltings? Meltings. Oh, come on. I challenged the dictionary. The freezings and meltings of these. Yeah, that's not a common word. That's unfortunate. All right, well, you know, we don't have to get a perfect play every play. Um, let's just play melt. Do we have, like, Shining? I hadn't realized just how strong ING is in this common... Um, yeah, so... S-H-I-N-I-R-G Grinish? Just play the G off... Oh, no, just play the... Which letter do I need changed for shining? There's one N in the bag. We have a 1 in 13 chance of drawing it. Um, Because I don't think Grinish fits anywhere, nor is it a word. I could just continue this. In, well, we can't play meltings, because melting's not a word. Um... Yeah, no, I think playing for Shining is my best bet to tr attempt to win the game. So, this is 8 points. Um, I don't see a better place for it. Alright, we did not draw the H. We try again. S-H-I-N. We have the E. Uh... We're at 4 minutes. It's not going to matter. Four minutes from now. All right. Uh, there is still an N in the bag. Still a question. Well, I'm sorry. There's a N and a question blank on scene. We could play the E somewhere. How about B and F? F is not in this book. Uh, air. Equip. Well played. Um, we have a D. We did not draw the N. Alright, we're just gonna keep digging. Uh, do is a word. And our spot is taken. Well, we tried. Kind of. Uh, so... It's kind of hard to care at this point. I should care about my rating a little bit. Gin is a word. All right, nicely played. I am crushed even. Oh, shindig! Yeah, I'm playing a bot. We're playing rated games, so that's why I've looked away from the chat here. Um, because I actually do want, like, somewhere on my record to have a, a rated win against the bot. Um, further, you know, I think there's some chance I could actually... I mean, this is the ECWL rating category. Nobody cares about the rating category, but I want to know kind of where I stand. I want to see that I can beat it sometime. Hasty bot exchange for. Can't really blame you for that. Uh, pelt is perhaps better for me than no. I'm trying to decide: do I like the P or the B better? Uh, yeah, I like to keep the B here. 
Hi, wow. All right, nicely done again. Um, hmm. So I don't suppose that Jut fits here because, oh, NU is accepted. Then it plays Jute and Exec. I wonder if it's just adding these words to the dictionary as it goes. Because that would be pretty funny. All right, is Jarl in the dictionary? Not in the common word dictionary. All right, didn't think so, but just really needed to know. Um... How about bloat? Bloater? ER is a nice combination. Let's keep that. Oh my god. Eulogize with a Z is acceptable. That's a common word, folks. Yeah, so what do we do now? That doesn't phase me at all. So, yeah, I don't see any way to improve that. We are down 90 points. Um, hmm. I also wonder how the bot chooses when to exchange on the first turn. Like, only... Um, Maybe only if it doesn't have a valid play will it exchange. Or maybe it needs to score some number of points. I don't know. Kind of curious, because quite often I imagine that exchanging is better than playing with such a limited dictionary. I wonder... Well, we have a U. I want to play the U. De jour? As in jury? Nope. Not in this book. Alright. I mean, I see chip, but that opens the triple. And also does not, like, use my U. Um... F-U-H uses the U, but it's not in the book. Probably P-U-H is likewise not in the book. Is P-U-G-H in the book? No. Um, I don't know, maybe I just play Chip. Um, okay, Hop is in the book, but P-E is not. Man, this is not the leave I wanted to have. Nor is that the space I wanted to provide, but didn't score that many points. Well, 27 is quite a bit. Could have been worse. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, the reality is with four vowels, this is going to be hard. Um, unless I'm creative. So, galore. I've almost got regular. Not really. Longer. Longer. -er. <laughs> Yeah, I think that means there's not a word. 
Um, I don't suppose R O L E I N G, as in like playing roles. Yeah. Well, we've got longer here. Uh, leaving us with GR. I don't like that. Hmm. Yeah, this is a mess. I just assumed that it would be easier to play with this book than other ones, because I've had some success with this one in the past. Um, I had one singular win over the bot, and I think an unrated game. Maybe it was rated. I don't remember. Uh, longer fits here. NR is a decent leave. So seven uh. points. All right, meanwhile, our opponent draws the S and scores a bajillion D points. That's pretty clever. Um, hmm. now we don't have a U. So yeah, this, we should just exchange. Silly as that sounds. Uh, let's keep ER. That way we have some chance of... All right, if I zoom out enough, can I get the space back above the board? I don't like when I exchange tiles, the entire screen shifts. It's really inconvenient. Um, maybe I just need to make a user script to scroll up every second, even though that makes no sense. But like I put in a CSS rule, uh, a user style, to prevent overflow vertically and yet despite that the page scrolls vertically even though there's no content to scroll to i don't understand it um maybe i just need to make the buttons below the board really tiny so they don't overflow maybe that would work maybe i just need a bigger monitor Um, yeah, maybe after this we should watch games instead of playing them. For a second here, I thought this would be fun. Um, so where should fit? Here we go. Uh, of course, I played several good letters there, so I don't have so many good letters anymore. Um, but we can still spell things like door. That's a common word. Yeah, I can't think of anything else that fits in that spot. All right, so we have YY and II. That's an interesting combination. Hmm. I mean, that just means I should just exchange my entire rack again. Um, we could keep ED. Feeling a bit frisky. Oh, we got all the E's now. Alright, well, that didn't quite go the way we hoped. 
plus I can't play the Q at all. Plus our opponent didn't score anything, and they burned up one of the eyes that we need to play the Q. So, um, yeah, let's just exchange four E's. Yeah, this will be okay, somehow. Um... Oh, Bing is not a common word. Wow, okay. Well, that explains why it's not on the board. Um, hmm. It's so challenging to find a space to stick a word. Oh, all the words I built there are invalid? That's clever. Alright, how about K? Alright, we have QI, finally. So, this requires a U, but otherwise it's pretty cool. Um... So there's nowhere to stick QI, of course. Uh, there's no Kadi. I mean, I have the letters for Kadi, but I don't think it's common. Um, I mean, let's find out if it's common or not. It doesn't fit, but yeah, Kadi's not in this book. Um... Chin. It's not in the book. I need to open a lane for... Well, I could just exchange the queue. I don't need to put up with this. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, now, of course, Ivy is played, so the queue is easily played at the top of the board. Um, I-E-R is a nice suffix. Go deer. I don't know. A-G-E is a suffix. A-G-E-D. Rio. I don't know. I don't know this. If Even, like, in any other dictionary, I don't know this extremely common combination of letters. The way most people would study it, they'd stick these in alphabetical order, which to me seems kind of counterproductive, but um, I'd rather have the soundable letters, the hardest letters, in the front of the rack, because that seems more memorable to me, but this is how most people would sort it. Yeah, I got nothing. All right, so um, R A G E D O rage. Yeah. The other thing is like A T E doesn't, to my knowledge, doesn't take any suffix at all. So even if I had a seven, there's nowhere to stick it. Um. Yeah. I mean, it'd be cool if any of those words were valid, like din. Sure, it'd be nice if din were valid. Oh, jin is. Um, but there's no point. Yeah, so... I don't know, something like this. Hmm.
Man, I am so distracted at present. And I have several ideas why. Um, it's so tempting to want to just concede this at this point, but let's try to play it out. Oh, here, bind is a word. So dig is a word. Dog is a word. Yeah. There we go. There's dog. Jim's is a nice five. Oh, still two tiles in the bag. All right. Well, we got the Q, so let's score that. Um, yeah, I've not done well setting myself up. I forgot tiles in bag versus a total unseen tile count. Those are two different concepts. I do well to remember that in the future. Um, so, I've got like overtime without the M. Um, no, we don't. We got something close to Aviator, but we have an E. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Our opponent has an S. If I open a lane, they will play all of their tiles for a lot of points. So I can't open a lane. That's my restriction here. Um, it's kind of a big restriction. Rove. Oh, God damn it! Didn't even open a lane and still it crushed me. It is so opportunistic. All right, our new rating. So we dropped to like 30 points here. Eventually this rating is going to stabilize, or HastyBot's just going to get a rating of a million. I don't know. Um, wow. Alright, let's try something silly. Ben Sate. Didn't think so. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Spent is valid, but... Uh... Yeah, man. I mean, I see, like, the Latin pina, meaning always... That doesn't really do me any good here. Um, pants. There's a common word. Alright, well, now we've got, like, nothing. Got absolutely nothing. Uh... All right, there's a word, soiree, super common word. All right, well, we got the Woogle special. Oh, Molotese, Molotese, yeah. I don't think that's going to be in the ECWL, the English common word list, but um, if mollifies is a word, I can imagine Molotese or whatever that is. M O I E Moites. I see. Yeah. Huh. Uh, that's interesting. Probably not in this English common word list book, but still a good one to be aware of. Oh, Collins word list. Collins has a lot of awesome words. The only reason I'm not using it right now is because if I want to have any chance whatsoever of defeating HastyBot, I have to rely on random number generation to bail me out. Um, Peely. Oh, right. IL is definitely invalid, but... Um, 
Why did I think Peely? There's some other word, Ely, in it. I mean, Lyra's not terrible. Scores exactly seven points if played here. Scores more if I played over here. Oh, no, wait, no, it doesn't. Five over here, but that's a double letter score, and over here is... Did I misread that? Oh, that says three. Okay. All right, so... Yeah, yes, yeah, this, this rack sucks. Let's exchange the Woogle special. Let's keep one. Uh, do I want... let's burn the tea. Alright. Sewerage. <laughs> Alright, well that's cool. You suppose that sewerage is, is a word? Um, probably. But Sog. No, we have two Ds. Let's play D. Surages is not a word. Surraged is also not a word. It was, yeah, whatever. It must be some, like, uncountable noun or something. Alright, well, we can take this spot. If I could find a word. Like, I see dole. D-O-L-E. That's not terrible. Uh, dole burns up another D. But, yeah, let's try this. Haste. Alright, so we have I-N-G. Dojoings. Dojoings. Totally a word. D O J O I N G S. Dojo Ings. Come on. You gotta give me that. Alright, well, we tried. Also, it occurs to me that this button here resets the rack and withdraws the tiles from the board. After playing in a multi month tournament, now I'm aware that this button not only can shuffle the rack or put it back. It also takes the tiles off the board. How did I not know that? <laughs> uh, well, all right. Now we know. <laughs> all right, join's not bad. It's so funny. Um, all right, smidgy. Oh, except that's a V, not a Y. I don't know, man. I guess I'm appreciating just how many words there are in the other dictionaries. That there's almost always a way to score. Whereas in this one, there just isn't. Um... Prepped. So we are only down by 114. Ious, Demius, Medius, Sumedo. I don't. Hmm. Out dimes. <sighs> Medius. But, like, any of these bingos, like, unless I can put she or something, there's just not a place to stick it. Um, due to my lack of foresight. Oh no, there could be something here. Mm. 
yeah, theoretically, there could be something here. Very theoretically. So I need to study more word builder sorts of things so I can find word hooks and not be completely adrift. That would probably help my chances quite a lot. Doom! Or I could play Mood for more points. Yeah. <laughs> Cuz. C-U-Z is in the book. Alright, is C-U-Z-S in the book? I, I really want to know. Don't want to know that badly, but... Um, maybe I do, because I've lost the game already. With surety. S-U-R-I-T-Y. Um... Yeah, that's not common. Cuzzes. Cuzzes is not in the book. Alright, but probably soirees and, well, yeah, I don't have an O for SO. Um, hmm. How about A? E Y. A is not in the book. I'm making stuff up at this point because I'm flustered. Um. Mm -hmm. Man, I thought this could be fun to play against the bot. Because I've had positive experiences in the past against it, believe it or not. Um. Tyree? Tyree's not a word. What am I confusing that with? I mean, sty is a word, but I want to use the U. I'm distracted by so many things at present. Oh, surety with the... Like this? I tried it with the eye. Let's try uh. this. Oh, okay. I accept this because, like, I found the word. I just probably would have floundered another five minutes and eventually found this. Huh. Yeah, I'm not thinking clearly at all. Uh, Pinky. P-I-N-K-I. Yeah, IELTS not a word, and Pinky's not spelt that way, but we can dream. Um, to know is to Ken, K-E-N. But, um, yeah, I don't think that it has, that does not produce a good leave for me. Um... I wonder if this is good. Trink? No, nope, not short for trinket. I don't suppose kind fits here. M is not a word. M is never a word. I need that. Uh, 
pause.org. Kin. And na. Na is not a word. <sighs> well, maybe I don't care about this rating category so much. Um, Bunrius. I should put this back. Fink, F I N K. It's a word. It has the advantage of being a word. All right. Um, yeah. Surprisingly, I'm not completely lost. Just mostly lost here. Um, let's exchange some tiles because that seems like a fun thing to do. There we go. Now we have bears. All right. Um, oh, cheese is not acceptable. S is also not acceptable. That's curious. Now I know. Well, exchanging again is not the worst thing I could do here. Yeah, we're just going to exchange again, because I don't like this. This is more fun. Of course, now I'm under pressure to actually find a word. And there's still very low probability of there actually being anything playable. So it's not a smart move, but... In fact, since there is nowhere to stick the word, this is just silly, but... Anyway, um... Yeah, I could search for something here. How about if I misspell hijab? Misspelling hijab does not get me any closer. All right. Um, But sureties with an S here and sigh. Yeah, didn't think so. But I want to play the G and the H, even though that'll like destroy my chances of ever getting ing as a suffix. But um, I don't think I'm getting bingo anyway. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is a strong play. Nicely spotted. Again. Wow. Impressive. It knows exactly which letters to hold on to and when to play them. That is awesome. Dilly? Dilly's nice. I wonder if somebody tweaked Hastybot to play more defensively or something. Because it's not giving me all the open hooks that it once gave me.
uh, N R Nor. All right. Um, earn. Earn's not playable. Um, well, we already know Na is not in the book, right? Ra is never a word. All right, so I don't see anything to play here. NY could be a word in some other book. Um, it's a Collins word, NY. Um, all right, let's play rat for three. How about nya? All right, how about yan? How about un? Uh, number one or letter one or something. Am I really going to have to play on? I don't want to play on. How about n for letter n? How about nup? All right. Wow. I guess we're stuck playing on. Or on. Because nowhere else we play this n. It just doesn't stick at all. Um, let's... Good to know for future reference. Yeah, I guess we're just playing on. Unless there's like Nafir or something. But, yeah. Alright, we lose this by 148. Uh, costs me 20 rating points. Oh, large-ish. Yeah, where was large-ish? So if I go back through here... Large-ish. Alright, this is something selectable here. Uh, well, it's not immediately playable. What is auto? I have no idea what these buttons are for. So it's just saying suggest something each turn, so I don't have to prompt it. Yeah, okay, I see. It's clever. SH, not a word. Yeah. Oh well. So we made numerous attempts against Tastybot, and at least for today it prevailed. But, you know, sometime in the future, maybe I'll have a chance against it.